What's up everyone, it's me, it's me, it's the Action Figure Freak once again and I would say let's celebrate 85 years of Marvel, holy shit, that's a long ass time. And with that uh, anniversary we get the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine and I'm, I'm a sucker for Wolverine figures since I was a kid and I would say this looks Damn promising, so let's open the Astonishing X-Men Marvel Legends Wolverine. So here is the figure itself as a quick 360 before I put my fat fucking fingers all over the figure too much. So you can make your own look to this. Gotta say, it looks really awesome, it's absolutely perfect in most ways. But I don't know. There is one thing I've realized instantly after opening it, and it's these claws. I have a few problems with these, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's at first focus on the articulation. So here he is, let's decapitate him to show you the first part. Here we got this uh, dotted whatever joint. I still don't really like this, I think. Also for a Wolverine, we really need a vertical hinged head because of when he does that jumping stuff. I don't know, it doesn't work for me, uh, personally, gotta say. Uh, then we got here butterfly joints. We kind of get a joint uh, around the butterfly joint with the shoulder protectors. This is one of the best inventions Hasbro has done for their Marvel Legends. Uh, just because of the mobility, he can move his arms up. That's really, really awesome. Then we have, I think, butterfly joints. I've already said these move in really good, and as much as they should, you don't have to trim anything. Uh, ball joints on there. We got swivels here, double jointed pinless elbows. He can't really move it that much up because of that big ass biceps. But you could trim that if you want. We have swivels on the hands, horizontal hinges on all the hands. Uh, and then, probably the best part, we got here that upper uh, chest swivel. And we got a lower ab crunch. Uh, that's a little bit blocked by the belt, as you can probably see. But that's not too bad. We got the normal leg articulation with swivels up here, double jointed pinless knees. These pinless knees are working absolutely fine. We have no swivels on the shin, where I was real confused at first, because we already had almost the exact same mold without these two yellow stripes, uh, where we had swivels. But here, because of this small little line that's going around here, uh, I think they just didn't want to do it. Sad. Then we have vertical hinges on the feet as well as swivels too. One thing I don't understand why they didn't use a black joint here. Because as you see it would align perfectly with the shin. And don't say on the back side because on the back side it's the exact same. So that would be really cool and we all know Hasbro could do it, but they ain't doing it. But let's see some of his accessories. We got the Logan head on here. We got two claw hands where I got something really important to say about. And we get, that's really awesome, one opened hand. Nothing special, just an opened hand. And we got a pointy finger, that's really awesome. I wish for something like this for almost every Captain America figure. Uh, so these are just hands you need for a lot of poses, for a lot of stuff you could do. And we have it like on almost none of the figures, so yeah. Then the Logan head sculpt, I mean I've got a little eye misprint here. Uh, but I gotta say it looks pretty good uh, and pretty accurate also. Let's see what we have here with with those claws. Yeah, let's let's focus on this. Um, I wanted to pose these claw hands 
and I quickly realized how unstable these are. So the right hand, I no, well, that's the left hand. I almost fucked fully up because as you see these claws are pretty pretty yeah uh, loose in there. So if you want to adjust the hand joint and pull the hand down like here, you're probably going to rip these out. So mine are hanging in there really really weak and I can't understand why Hasbro is doing it this way. I mean, yeah, accuracy and everything they could have changed the mold somehow they should have done it this is a super awesome figure from the looks I get from it and uh, yeah we have that issue here you see that little gap here that that is nightmare fuel for every collector uh, so yeah that hurts a lot but let's see what we got here as the other two hands pointy finger here Cena hand here so yeah he can do the you can't see me you know and he can do here some pointing stuff I don't know that's that's really good to have something like this in there so yeah pretty cool let's move on so let's look uh, at some of the details on this figure because this one got a lot um, and in the end I'm going to tell you a solution that might help with these claws. But yeah, at first, the head. We got uh, way smaller Batman masks on the side. <laughs> you know probably what I mean with that, I hope so. Uh, we got these gritting teeth, that looks really good. We also have painted down here the rim of his mask. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Um, that is probably not a mold, that's probably paint that's vanishing here on these butterfly joints. I don't know what it is, but it looks weird. Uh, but we get all these molded stripes here, and yes, these are all molded. The paint job sucks a little bit, as you can see here. So that almost, I don't know, looks like some bootleg stuff. Uh, but all in all, it looks good, that's the main thing, but still, why mold stuff where you paint on when you don't go after the molds, when it's everywhere? But yeah, uh, then we get the belt, also here we got a few painting issues, but that's not too bad. Uh, I don't know, all these bright colors, it, it looks really good. Then that's one of the best parts and one of the weirdest parts that it's that good the arms on The X-Men uh, 97 Wolverine we got we got here molded hair on the arms That's good. That's accurate But the thing is they didn't paint any of that on here. They made a way smaller mold so it doesn't look that weird or burnt or anything and they actually painted all over it. So that's also really, really good. I really like that. Just here, another quick look at the Logan head on the Wolverine figure. But now, let's move on to the claw hands. As I said, you gotta be really, really slow on posing these. But one thing you should do if you think about getting this or if you got this still closed, you want to open it, whatever. Get the fucking hardest glue you got in your home. Pull it all over here and from both sides. Uh, so let me see if you can see this. Yeah, kind of. Here starts the gap where these uh, claws getting in. And I would... I would definitely, so I'm doing it, uh, even though it's loose, mostly because it's loose, yeah, but uh, if you get this figure, if you want to open it, get some glue over there, definitely, that's a pain in the ass, that's the kind of stuff that keeps me <laughs> awake at all night, now, nah, but for real, that's, that's unfortunate, really, Hasbro should uh, fix that, uh, and I mean that's a celebration exclusive figure so 
as an exclusive that was sold out in one day on the pre-orders. Uh, gotta say, it would be better if they <laughs> make something more stable. Uh, I mean, these claws are always a problem, but that that's insane. That's really insane. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice figure. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it kind of made fun. I mean, I've got an astonishing X-Men Wolverine now. Uh, and yeah, have an absolutely awesome day. Now it's time to say, action out!